Hello, this is a Supplementary Algebra 2 lesson for Lesson 67 in your textbook, Radical Denominators. I'll be working on the examples on page 273 in your textbooks. If you want to pause the video and turn to that right now, you can go ahead and do that. Okay, so what are we doing in this problems with radical uh, denominators or what radical meaning that square root symbol in the denominator. Remember, uh, mathematicians do not like radicals in the denominator just like they don't like fractions in the denominator. They do not consider that a simplified or most simple, uh, simple expression, I guess, uh, if that is the case. So our whole drill, our whole procedure for this lesson is to get rid of that radical symbol, that square root, in the denominator. Now, we notice we've done that before, and we've done that by multiplying the same square root, top and bottom, into the denominator to get rid of that square root of 3. But if we do that here now, we have an addition. We have two terms in the denominator. So, if we were to think of this in parentheses, because it's a it's an expression, we would have to multiply in the square root of 3 by the distributive property, okay? So in the denominator, we would get a minus 4 times the square root of 3 plus a square root of 3 times square root of 3 will be 3, <coughs> okay? That would be our new denominator, and our new numerator would be square root of 3 times 1. Okay, and as we see, we have not, we've gotten rid of the square root of symbol over here in the second uh, term, but we've just simply moved another square root over here. So doing that method, when it involves a sum or an addition, uh, two terms uh, added or subtracted in the denominator, that method does not help us get rid of the radical symbol. Okay, but they do have another tool to do that. Okay, and it involves this word you might have forgotten called uh, a conjugate. Okay, we remember the conjugate of an expression, <laughs> a two term expression, is the same expression except that second uh, sign, the second sign attached to the second term is the opposite. The sign of the first term is kept the same. We notice minus 4 and minus 4, okay? But that uh, addition turns into a subtraction. We change that sign. That is the conjugate pair of this expression, okay? We're going to use that to multiply top and bottom to get rid of the expression. Now we notice when we multiply this out, We'll get a minus 4 times a minus 4 is a 16. We'll get a minus 4 times a minus uh, square root of 3 is a positive 4 square root of 3. Then we multiply the 3 and the minus 4. Okay, we get a minus 4 square root of 3. And the 3 and the, the square root of 3 and the minus square root of 3. It, it results in a minus 3, okay? So we combine like terms. We have, we're adding a 4 square root of 3, subtracting a 4 square root of 3. These two terms cancel each other out, okay? What we are left with, we're left with a uh, 16 uh, minus 3, or uh, simply a 13, Okay, in the numerator, okay, it's going to be 1 times that conjugate, okay, so what's left is the conjugate, okay, we are left with the conjugate, the new denominator becomes 13, that is our simplified expression, now, does it look any simpler than the first, okay, we have two numbers and a one square root, in a fractional form in both cases, but
but mathematicians like this better because we don't have that square root in the denominator. Okay, it's moved up to the numerator. Okay. Um, going on, uh, example 67.2 at the bottom of the page there on 273. We have a 3 over a 2 square root of 3 plus 2, okay? How are we going to get rid, oh, I'm sorry, it's plus a square root of 2, okay? How are we going to get rid of uh, this? these radicals in the denominator, okay? We are going to multiply by the conjugate. It's the same first term. We change the sign on that second term, and it's the same number, okay? And whatever we multiply the top or the bottom by, we must also multiply the top, okay? Because otherwise, then we're just uh, changing the fraction. We're multiplying by one, okay? Now, we can, uh, we can uh, go ahead and multiply this out like we did in this step here. And you can never go wrong doing that. Okay, if you would like to know a shortcut method, okay, we realize <coughs> uh, what do we have here? We it, This reduced down to 16 minus 3. Okay, the middle terms canceled out. Okay, what did that leave us? It left us effectively... If we multiplied the first two terms together, a minus 4 times a minus 4 becomes a positive 16. If we multiplied the last two terms together, it becomes a positive square root of 3 times a negative square root of 3. That becomes a negative 3. Okay. Whenever we multiply conjugate pairs together, we will always get the cancellation of these middle terms. So a shortcut method is to go directly to uh, the this this uh, line here. Okay, we skip this multiplying out and we multiply the first two terms, we multiply the last two terms together. Okay, let's do that. So what we'll have is a 2 square root of 3 times a 2 square root of 3. Okay, what will that be? That will be 2 times 2 is 4. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3. Those are multiplied together. Effectively, then, we have 12. Okay? When we multiply 2 square root of 3 times 2 square root of 3, the result is 12. Now we're going to multiply square root of 2 positive times a negative square root of 2, we're going to get a negative, because a positive times a negative is a negative, and we're going to get a 2, okay? Now up here, we do have to multiply that out, okay? We'll get a 2 times 3 is 6, square root of 3, minus a 3, square root of 2, okay? And of course, this denominator will simplify a 12 minus 2 will simplify into a 10, okay? So this is our simplified expression, okay? Is it any simpler than this first uh, expression? It actually looks a little bit more complicated uh, or at least equally complicated, but for mathematicians, it doesn't have that square root in the denominator, so they prefer that method. So, uh, if you can catch on to this shortcut method, okay, when we multiply conjugate pairs together, <coughs> excuse me, we will always end up getting this cancellation of the middle terms, okay, and that will leave the first two terms multiplied together, the last two terms multiply together. That's the shortcut method we used here to eliminate uh, some math work. If that makes sense to you, go ahead and use that shortcut method. If not, if that, you don't quite understand that, you can never go wrong by multiplying it out here, distributive property, 
and listing out all the terms and then combining the like terms. But just keep in mind, when we multiply conjugate pairs, there's going to be things that cancel out. Okay, so if you do your math and you don't have like terms that cancel out, you've done something wrong. You need to go back and check your math, okay? So I hope that helps. <coughs> Again, what are we doing? Simply, we are booting the radical symbol, the, the square root of 3 here, the square root of 3, and the square root of 2 here. We are booting those out of the denominator. Now, it may relocate them in the numerator, and that's fine. At least we're eliminating our final solution. We are eliminating any any square roots, any radical expressions uh, in the denominator. That is the, the whole drill. And we do it by use of the conjugate of the denominator, okay? The conjugate, the exact same expression except the sign of the second a term in that expression is changed. That is called the conjugate pair to the first expression. So I hope that helps. Shoot an email or a text message with any uh, questions, and we'll see you later. Bye for now.